Chris Swecker. Chris, great to see you. Uh, former President Trump okay. just spoke about Pfizer. Of course, he came out with a, a Truth Social uh, posting a couple of days ago saying kill FISA. He's he's amended that a little bit. Perhaps the, his talk with Speaker Johnson had something to do with that. I want to play that and get your reaction. Roll tape. Okay. Well, I'm not a big fan of FISA. I looked at it and I studied it and I know it probably better than anybody. You know, they spied on my campaign. You do know that, right? And they did lots of other bad things. I'm not a big fan of FISA, but I told everybody, I said, do what you want. So, Chris, they, it is true they spied on his campaign. It's also true that an FBI lawyer lied about evidence in front of a FISA court in order to spy on an American that was affiliated, uh, Carter Page, with, with President Trump. So, I mean, it's, it's amazing that he's pulled back a little bit from saying kill FISA. What's your opinion on FISA? Well, he's got one point. I mean, this Justice Department can't be trusted. And we need FISA. Let's let's put it that way. We, we need the tools to stop terrorists, uh, foreign intelligence services. Um, th this is a necessary tool. But those that abuse it need to be held accountable. And that never happened in that case or, or those cases. So I, I get his point. You can't kill FISA, though. What you can do is modify 702, which has some scary provisions in it. it now, you're talking about a hardcore law enforcement officer here, an intelligence officer, and 702 has some back doors to it. You can query on American citizens, and you can make some pretty broad uh, runs at, at communications of American citizens that are incidental to contacts with foreign citizens or foreign nationals. Yeah. So it's a little bit scary there. That's where the attention needs to go. Well, and you don't want to kill Pfizer. That's precisely where Congressman uh, Jim Jordan, who was on Fox earlier, uh, spoke to. And he's, he's one of those who sponsored this amendment. I just want to play that because I think he explains exactly what you were saying very clearly about why he wanted to put an amendment in there. Roll that tape. The part that's up for reauthorization is this 702 program where our government spies on foreigners. But in the process of doing that, they, they pick up all kinds of information about Americans. And what we're saying is if you're going to go search that database, that 702 database, that haystack of information, giant haystack, and you're going to search American citizens, you got to go get a warrant if you're going to search their data. And Chris, it's not just a couple, one or two or even a dozen uh, cases where, where Americans were swept into this surveillance, the wireless surveillance of foreigners. It happened 278,000 times, according to the Washington Post. That's not according to Jim Jordan. That's according to the Washington Post. And you know the details. That apparently happened quite a bit. Yeah, these political appointees come and go, you know, in the security area at high levels. And they can't, they, apparently they couldn't resist the temptation of, of taking some you know, doing some queries on some of their political enemies and their political opponents. They can't be trusted. So some, something has to be built into 702 that safeguards that. And there ought to be some very stiff criminal penalties for lying to a FISA court for any type of FISA abuse. This is, this is our, our, our civil liberties. It isn't just our civil liberties. This is, you know, our livelihoods are that you could be terribly stigmatized by, by this type of information getting out and be, you know, people thinking that you're under investigation. Yeah. You know, what, what Trump had to deal with, nobody should have to deal with. Final point, we've got to make it quick, but, uh, you know, you, you hear about the deep state, and, and we saw it in action during the Trump administration. They were clearly out to get him, both the CIA and members of FBI, both organizations. It wasn't everybody, but it was a cartel that was in there that, was, that had that in interest. Could they continue to use FISA? during another Trump administration? And is there any way that by tweaking it, you could prevent that from happening? Yeah, I think with tweaking it, and that's exactly what uh, one of the proposals does, it just kicks the can uh, down the road two years to the Trump administration. So yes, it can be cured. Yeah, but I think there needs to be some very thoughtful, targeted cures. All right, Chris Swecker, thank you so much for coming in today, Chris. I appreciate it.